Hi guys, today I will be walking you guys through how to make a Repolit account. So let's first sign up. Um, now I've signed up through my Google account. Cool, I can get started. So this is kind of the interface that we'll be using throughout the program. And this is where we're going to be giving you code um, where you can get code from us and as well as us checking your code and have your progress throughout each week. So if you look here, if we say new Repolit, you can actually create a new REPL. And a REPL is essentially just a file that you make where you specify what um, language you're going to use. Um, in this case, we only really have to worry about the option of Python and HTML, CSS, and JavaScript, since these are the main languages we'll be using in our program. So um, let's create, let's say we're just gonna select Python and we're gonna make a hello.py. So let's create the REPL. And it's going to take a little bit time to load. Um, sometimes it gets a little bit laggy. Um, but if it does, just feel free to um, uh, refresh your browser. So now it's configured everything. Um, we have a hello.py. So let's um, write some code here. So we're going to print hello. And when we click run, um, what happens is it runs the file. However, um, let's go through another case where we would have to maybe import uh, code from GitHub. So we can go to new REPL, and this time, instead of making a Python file, we're going to import from GitHub. Um, GitHub is essentially a place where we store all of our code and um, kind of sort it into folders called repositories. So now we have access to all of our repositories. Um, and we can also um, access repositories on other people's sites. Um, so in this case, let's say we have our first assignment and I need you to um, import a repository called um, About Me. And so let's click that and it gives us the option and now we're going to import. And what it does, it makes a copy of the folder from GitHub onto our Repolit account. And so here we have to be really careful about these commands because we want to specify that we're going to be using HTML since we know we have HTML files in our folder. And um, in terms of running the button, um, it automatically runs index.html. So we're just going to click done. Okay, so now we have configured everything. Um, we actually have some little code that we have to take care of. So here, um, just to understand, it basically states what language you're using and what are you running? So by default, it will run index.html, which is the file that we have here. So let's try running it and see what the run button will do. Great, so it does run um, this HTML file that we've made. And so this is an example of us importing a HTML file. Okay, let's try an example with another repo that contains Python files. So let's head over to STEM League Data Programming 1 which is all of the Python files that you'll need for week one. So we normally put all of our Python um, files and files that we need for coding sessions on our GitHub so that students can import them onto Repolit. So in this case, we want to maybe run, um, configure the run button. So now we want to be specific because in this case, we have two different files and we can run either one. So let's say I want to run Mad Libs. The syntax to run a Mad Libs file is by saying Python space Mad Libs .py. And essentially all we're doing is saying, hey, I'm going to run this in Python and I'm going to run this specific file. So now we're going to click done and it will load our REPL. And now we have, um, if we click run this run button, it will run Mad Libs as you can see here. However, if we wanted to change what file we're running, we can just simply go to this .repl lit file, and instead of writing Python Mad Libs, we can write Python space .py. And let's stop running for a little bit, and let's try running. Right, so now it's running whatever should be printed here. And so this is how we configure a REPL lit, and um, a quick tip, is that a lot of times we'll be switching through files. So you, um, students may be working on multiple coding assignments at once. 
So please make sure to update um, what file you're running because sometimes that can get confusing if you didn't update this. Um, it'd be weird that like some of the Python files aren't running. And so we want to make sure that we're specifically using this syntax for uh, Python files and the other syntax where we don't have run called on in HTML and CSS and JS files. And another cool tip is that here you can actually say, um, instead of having a run button configured for you, you can simply just type in, let's say I want to run Mad Libs. Uh, I can just type in madlibs.py, and that is the command that I'm running. And so now it's running something from Mad Libs, which first um, prints out, please type in a number. And um, if I want to exit out of this, I can just um, press Control and C together, and that basically um, interrupts my keyboard and stops the file from running. And now we want to run, let's say, space.py, and now it's running space.py. So there are two options that you can do. One is configuring your um, .repelit file, or you can simply just type in your command on the terminal. And um, to explain a little bit, this is where we're going to be editing all of our code. So as you see here, as we toggle through each code file, um, it updates it. And as well as this is where the folder, or we call the directory, where we're gonna put all of our files. And this is where we're going to um, essentially run our code. So this is called the terminal. This is the code editor. And this is our navigation bar. So another thing I wanted to add is that on Repolit, we can also share files. So if you ever have any trouble with um, sharing or like your code and you wanted to maybe ask a mentor or a classmate to help out, you can always um, use this share button to invite someone to join on this link and um, just copy and send it to someone. And this is a secure link that gives this person or the student that you give this link to access to your code so that they can help you out. So it's kind of like a Google Doc for our code. So I hope this is helpful for you guys. Um, I hope you guys learned a little bit about how to use the command line or the terminal, um, as well as how to make edits in your editor. Um, feel free to play around with this because um, a lot of this configuration takes practice. But if you ever have any questions, feel free to ask the mentors, um, the instructors, or other classmates that can help out. Thank you.